Hello and welcome back. It's been a while, hasn't it? Last time I put anything out, it was a day at Whittington Fair with Ian Brackenbury, which was a lot of fun. It's something I shot on my mobile phone and put together at home on my laptop. And it got a few views, but I have to admit, it wasn't very professional. Uh, you messed up the first time, man. So we've got Mike, who's one of the locals here. Say hello, Mike. Hello. <laughs> And uh, Mike's got some of the gear and some idea, and hopefully we can produce something that's a bit more uh, watchable, let's say. We also need content, and one of the things I've been wanting to show everyone is what we uh, do around the pub, little projects, and today is the first day and the first project that I want to share with you all. And there's one in particular that I've been uh, wanting to do for some time now, and that's to produce a little kitchen garden. about. 2.3 meters up there behind me. Now we need to do a wooden stair to get access to it because there's no other access uh, to it from from the actual pub property, and um, we need to put a fence around it. And then there's well, I'll show you in a minute, but there's an awful lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, we hope to be able to grow our own herbs, our fruit, vegetables up there. Basically, have a bit of fun with it, and um, well. Without further ado, let's go up there and take a look at what we're dealing with. So, as you can see, clearly not the most accessible place, but you also really see that we are behind the pub now. And you might like the uh, thatch work at the back that I particularly enjoy. It's a bit more interesting than the thatch at the front. On a good day on my right, you can see Easton Tor. Uh, so this is a nice elevated area. It's got plenty of sunshine, which sh should mean that we can grow some um, really good produce here and use it as an area just to chill out maybe in between services. Uh, so a lot to be done though, as you can see. It is just scrubland and um, hopefully in the next three to four weeks we're going to completely transform this place but firstly uh, we're going to work on that staircase up here and get that fence up and secure this area so it's nice and safe area to work in. So back outside we're now constructing the stringers for the, uh, for the stairs up to the uh, kitchen garden. Uh, we've used a website with an online stair calculation uh, gizmo which works very well, blocklayer.com. I will put a link below if you ever want to use that. And Christian's then used the template which, it, which you can print out and uh, using a wooden block of that template just to mark out the stringers here. So it's starting to begin to look like the staircase that we want. Right, so I've set the saw up so that it will cut through this and uh, I'm going to cut through as far as I can go with the circular saw and then at the last moment I'll uh, cut through with the jigsaw the last little bit. Uh, this should give us nice sort of flat surfaces uh, and it's going to be rather noisy in a minute, hopefully. Well, fast forward a few more days and we've got something that resembles something of a staircase, which is great. Um, template didn't work out quite as we had anticipated, so we've um, fabricated and extended the tread a little bit by adding another bit of 2x4 in here. But that's actually not a problem because it just increases the tread size, which will make it safer and easier to use. Um, I've been digging two holes here, which allow us to concrete in these newel posts and uh, we're nearly there so we just got to get screwing really. 
So we had some lengths of 3x2 which we've had to split in half in order to extend the length of the tread uh, because the template didn't quite work out. But it also means we need to do a lot of wood preserving so wherever there's bare wood <coughs> it's always worth preserving it, just protect it from the elements. A couple of coats of preserver and we should all be good to go. So we're just using some of these gold turbo screws, they seem to do the job nicely. I've got them from Screwfix. No need to pre-drill pre -drill these, they seem to just go in easily. Lovely jumping. You're going to be finished by half past three. I hope so. <laughs> what was it? An earbud from this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Put one in there for sort of Easter egg for someone to find. Yeah. Use My father once took his um, trousers off at, as you do at night, and uh, but you take your trousers and your pants off at the same time. Yeah. And you had to take the dog into the vet, and he just got up in the morning, put a new pair of pants on, and then put his trousers on. Pair, went to the vet and thought, God, what's this down my leg? And shook it around, <laughs> and his dirty pants, underwear yeah. from the night before came nice. <laughs> <laughs> Pick him up and put him in his pocket. That's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> So we've dug, these mule posts are 180 centimetres. So we've dug down 60 centimetres, 600 mil, to give it a good footing. And we're just going to use some post mix concrete, making sure this is level. And then we've got our water just down there, and we'll add that. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Oh wow. Well done team. Right, I'll stop touching him. Oh, it's leaking. What a surprise. That's okay. Any comments? Hi, Mike. Well, welcome back. And since you've been away, we've really made some progress on these uh, stairs. Uh, we're just at the moment putting in the spindles, and we've got a, to do that. We've got a bit of nine mil dowel, which we've drilled a central hole into the spindle, and then sent it to the steps. We've also drilled a hole of similar size. And just to help us guide that down into the hole, we countersunk it, which really helped. Just to show you here, we've drilled our hole. The first hole we drilled was a bit too tight, so we drilled a slightly bigger hole, not that much bigger. And I found if you countersunk that hole, you're able to position the spindle a lot more accurately. Put your glue at the end and tap it away. As you can see, I've done nearly all of them. Ready for the handrail. Right, hopefully you can see the handrail here. What you'll find is a two by four. Doesn't quite fit. Now you could trim the ends of each of these, but we're not going to bother. We're going to somehow just make this hole or gap just that little bit wider. It really is. Well, hang on. Just a couple of mil, really, off one of the sides. The other thing we've done is these newel posts, which are looking mighty handsome. We're going to be using a concrete bracket to hold that in place and fix it to uh, the base or this concrete base that we've got here. And then I bought these brackets online which you can bolt to the concrete floor and slot over the new post like that and screw in using the holes on the side. That'll give a nice secure fastening to the new post and 
to uh, make the structure even more rigid. And then everything's sort of ready for the handrail, which should tighten up the spindles. Some of them are a little loose, nothing to worry about. And uh, we've got a nice little stairway to our kitchen garden, our stairway to heaven, so to speak. So one of the most difficult things to find was this steel bracket that we've got here. A lot of the brackets have the fixing bolt internal to the bracket itself, but these ones have four in total external fixing bolts that we put straight into the concrete here. Now that enabled us to put the newel post exactly where we wanted it before we had to commit to actually bolting the bracket into the concrete here. And that's worked really well. Perfect. So Christian's just um, trimmed this inner edge because the top of the spindle is just a little too wide to fit the handrail. That's jolly good. Right. All right, just pop it off. Needs a little pop. Good. Okay, right. Okay, so it gets pretty wet here on Dartmoor, and that would mean that these treads would get pretty slippery. So we've gone and put some chicken wire just to make sure that we've got extra grip. It would have been easier to do this whilst the treads weren't fixed in. So I'd advise doing that if you're putting together a staircase. And then if you come up to the top here, we have the newel posts, which were set a bit further back than the rest of the spindles, and that meant that the banister didn't go straight up into it particularly uh, neatly, so we've had to flatten out the top of the banisters here, which is a bit of a fabrication, but we got there in the end. Right, as I was saying, up here, we had a bit of a miscalculation because we set this newel post back a little further than the distance between each spindle, which meant the handrail needed a bit of fabrication at the top here. Use fabrication. Yeah, we had to make something up a little bit, just flatten it off. Otherwise, it was uh, overshooting the newel post itself. We've also put some fence posts side by side, and that's going to hold a gate uh, so people can't fall down easily um, but that's about it really we're pretty pleased with it I'm pretty chuffed with it anyway and we've just got some fencing to do and then we'll be working on the landscaping itself done the, um, done the staircase so next step is to do the fence so I'm just going to show you what we're doing here or what I'm doing it's not rocket science but it might be of interest so if I step back here, we've got, if you can see a run of about six meters. And I was planning on doing each of the posts about 1.8 meters apart. But when we get down here, we've got a corner and a different angle. And therefore I'm thinking we need to perhaps do them about 1.5 meters apart but it doesn't need to be an exact science because it's not really on show so it doesn't really matter and it'll look good anyway right that's stage one of this little project complete massive thank you to christian and olivia his daughter and mike who's behind the camera and lewis who's somewhere up in london editing uh, if you like what you've seen then please hit the like button big thumbs up thank you very much uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want notifications we will be doing more videos on this project so we hope to see you uh, a bit later on many thanks and uh, take care video evidence of me doing some manual labor proof for the wife <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>